Hey everyone, welcome to Studio SNC. Uh, let's get started in all fours today. So make your way onto your hands and your knees and we're going to start with some balancing exercises. So swimming on all fours. To prepare, we're going to draw the belly button up towards that lower back. So flattening through the lower back as much as you can. Pushing into the hands so the shoulder blades part slightly. Spin the inner elbows forward so that the inside of the elbows are turning to face forward, middle fingers facing forward and your fingers are spread. So a straight spine like a table. We're going to engage the tummy muscles, pulling up and in from your pubic bone to your belly button. And the next breath in, we're going to lengthen the right arm and the left leg. Don't lift the foot or the fingers off the floor. Try and shift the weight evenly between the left hand and the right knee and then breathe in and lift up. Okay, in line with the spine, point through those left toes and then exhale out, slide the hand and the knee back into place. Other side, breathe in, extend the left arm and the right leg but don't lift it quite yet. Evenly distribute as much as you possibly can between the right and the left, right hand, left knee and then we float up on the next inhale bicep in line with your ear and the leg in line with your spine. Exhale, bring it down to the start a little quicker now. Breathing in, find length and float up. Exhale out as you lower down. Moving carefully through the exercise, noticing if you feel a bit unsteady or if you're finding it hard to lift the arm as high as the head. Are you straining to look forward? Continue to look down to the mat and point the toes. Think length rather than lift with the leg. We tend to try and lift the leg higher than we're meant to. Your hip bones should be in line. And then the palm is facing in the opposite direction. So right palm is facing to the left and the left palm is facing to the right. Inhale as you lengthen. Imagine you're balancing something on your back like a glass of water or maybe wine and you don't want it to spill. Inhale, bicep in line with the ear and then lower down. As well as all of that, you are trying to keep your shoulders away from your ears. So the shoulders aren't coming up to the ears, you pull them back. And then last time, left arm, right leg, extend. And then exhale, return to the start. Reach the hips back into a child's pose. Just gently massage the calves by moving your bum from right, into left, right to left. And then we shift the body weight forward, hands coming out in front of the shoulders. Knees slide them back behind the hips and we're going to find a plank position. So inhale, hips go back. Exhale, tuck through the tail as you lower down halfway, finding that posterior pelvic tilt and a strong half plank. So adjust the hands if you need to, wrist tracking your elbows, elbows tracking your shoulders. Tail is tucked under, strong in that lower back. And also, you don't want to drop the hips too low. You want to keep them in that diagonal, hips, knees, and then shoulders on the other end. We tuck the toes under. We're not going to lift the feet or lift the, the two knees at the same time. We're just going to lift one at a time. So it's a form of a single leg plank. Lower it down. Left leg lifts, lower it down. Right leg lifts. Try and keep those hips and pelvis as steady as possible. So we're stabilizing through the upper body. Challenging our hips by lifting one knee up off the floor. Stretching through the calves, the Achilles heels, keeping that core strong and tight. Use every part of your hands, the base of your fingers, your fingertips. Keep the length in the neck. We got one more set, right left knee lifts, lower it down. Left knee lifts, lower it down. Reach the hips back, feel that lovely stretch in the upper back especially. Exhale, we tilt and come back down into your half plank. Inhale, bend the elbows, lower the chest to the floor. And then the forearms come a little wider now and wag your tail. We're going to inhale, lift the right arm and the left leg. So swimming again, pull the elbow into your rib cage and then lower it down. Left arm, right leg, pull that left elbow into the rib cage and release. So again, working on your opposites, your coordination, 
your balance, pointing through the toes as we float one leg up with the opposite arm, squeezing the elbow into the rib cage to activate those side back muscles. Inhale, lift, and exhale, release back down. Breathing in, right arm, left leg lifts, and then lower it. Breathe in, left arm, right leg lifts, and we lower it down. Breathe in, float up. So these exercises are training your back to stay straight, to not round through the shoulders or jut the chin out. When you get tired, you're keeping that openness, becoming more aware of keeping your shoulders back and down, your chest open and your core engaged. Left arm, right leg and release. Okay, two arms, two legs, we bring it up. We're gonna add a little pulse, pull the elbows in one, two, and then release down. Breathing in, we float up and we pull one, two. Keep that chin in, the length in the back. Breathing in, working through the backs of the legs and the glutes. So my legs are hip width apart. If you want, you can have the legs together and don't lead with the head. So keep that chin in that double chin feel the length from the crown of the head to the tail if it's too much you can leave the arms on the floor and slide the hands in release back down last two breathe in lift and lower it down one last time breathe in lift and lower it down okay hands come wider from the shoulders elbows up towards the ceiling legs hip width or maybe a little wider if that suits your body better we're going to inhale peel the chest up as you do drop the elbows so that the forearms the wrists are somewhat parallel to the floor and then exhale elbows up breathing in we are peeling the chest up dropping those elbows down towards the floor and then lifting the elbows up Again, coordination works. We're working on our coordination here. And you do tend to want to lift that head up to look up. Just trust that the movement is coming from the thoracic, gluing that pelvic region into the floor, working on the upper back here, your posture especially, and then releasing, elbows go up. Three to go. Elbows go down as you breathe in, and then they lower down as you breathe out. Two more, inhale, press the front of the feet into the floor and release. One last time, lift it up and then lower it down. Okay, hands come to the lower part of your back now. Double leg kick, two legs together, elbows framing the waist. Breathe in, we kick twice. Exhale, we stretch and lengthen. Breathe in, kick twice and then stretch and lengthen. Keep that chest open, kick, kick stretch and lengthen kick kick elbows bend knees snap kick twice and we stretch and squeeze those shoulder blades together if you have to let go of a hand here to straighten the arms you can exhale it out <sighs> breathe in kick twice and breathe out stretch everything out last three we stretch two more kick kick and stretch and then one last time kick kick Stretch and hold here. Start swimming with the legs, with poker straight legs. Keep the chest open, shoulder blades together, chin in. Keep it moving. If you feel tired in the back or there's any discomfort, you can stack the hands and lower the forehead onto stacked hands. Last three breath cycles, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Two more, breathe in and breathe out. Squeeze those shoulder blades together for the last time and then lower everything down. Stack the hands here, rest the forehead, bend the knees, allow your knees or your feet fall to your right. Now keep them here. Press that right hip into the floor, the left hip is lifted, and then come back through the center. Knees go to the left, the right hip lifts. Stay here for a moment, breathe into it, and then lower it back down. Keep the head on your hands and just kick a little bit through the knees. So bending the knees, extending them out, Maybe kick the floor, maybe don't. You don't want to hurt your feet. And then release. Okay, arms down by your side now. Palms facing up, tuck the chin in. Last one face down. I know it's quite difficult to stay in this position for too long. We're going to breathe in, lift everything up. 
As you exhale, flip the palms lower down. Inhale, palms up. Think of the length of the toes to the crown of the head and then flip the palms down as you release back down. Breathing in and breathing out. Inhale, float up. Stretch your fingertips towards your heels as you stretch and lengthen and lift. Stretch the fingertips, feeling that gentle kind of pull or stretch in the collarbone, clavicle area. Feel the strength in the back, the bum, the legs, pointing through those toes and release back down. Inhale, we lift and exhale, lower. Breathe in, lift it up and exhale, lower down. One last time, breathe in, lift and exhale, lower. From here, fingertips come to the floor out from the shoulders again. We bend the knees and bring them a little wider. Wag your tail, then squeeze those heels together. So squeezing the heels, activating the feet, press the pelvis into the floor. Inhale, we lift up. Exhale, we float the arms up and squeeze the elbows in. Release that squeeze and then fingertips come down. Lower the chest to the floor. So a couple of movements here. Don't worry about the breath, just don't forget to breathe. You peel the chest up. The arms come up, forearms parallel. Squeeze the elbows in. Release that squeeze, fingertips find the floor with the elbows up and then lower it down. Try and breathe in as you lift. Parallel to the floor with the forearms, squeeze. Release a little bit, fingertips to the floor, elbows up, lower down. Taking your time moving through this movement. So we're working the shoulders and all those rotor cuff muscles. So all the, the muscles that surround the shoulders and the shoulder blades. Fingertips to the floor, lower the chest. If this is too much with the heels together, all you gotta do is stretch those legs out or do part of the exercise. So parallel, squeeze in, release that squeeze, fingertips down, elbows up, lower it down. Two more, lift the chest. Feel the shoulders working, parallel to the floor. Squeeze the elbows in, release that squeeze, fingertips to the floor, lower down one last time. We lift, we parallel, <laughs> we move parallel to the floor with those forearms, squeeze the elbows in, release the squeeze, fingertips to the floor and lower it down. Extend the legs here and tuck the toes under, hands in underneath the shoulders, add a gentle movement up and down, releasing through the toes, deep breath in, exhale, we push ourselves up and we reach the hips back. Pressing the armpits to the floor, allow the bum to rise up, and then move the knees in, allow the forehead to meet the mat, the forearms too, and sink the armpits down towards the mat. Take a deep breath in here, breathe out, let it go. One more deep breath in, and breathe out, let it go. Walk the hands in, we flip over onto our bum. So a little bit of rolling to even out all that extension. We're gonna float the feet up off the floor, pull the knees into the chest, draw the elbows in, tuck the chin, making yourself small like a ball, and don't let that grip go of your hands with your calves and your hamstrings. Inhale, rock back, exhale, roll up. Breathe in, roll, and exhale, bring it up. Tuck the chin in throughout. Massaging the spine, you may feel a little stiff from all the extension work, creating that curve in the back. This is just balancing things out. Trying not to miss any part of the spine on the way down or any part of the back on the way up. Breathe in and breathe out. Last two, inhale, rock back. Exhale, bring it up one more time, breathe in and breathe out. From here, hands stay at the back of the legs, you're just gonna roll down to the mat. Knees in line with your hips. Now if this is uncomfortable on the back, you move the knees closer, but try and keep that wide angle in the legs. Tuck the chin in here, arms down by your side, press the shoulders and the backs of the arms into the floor. We're gonna inhale, peel the lower back up, activating those lower tummy muscles, but also stretching through that lower back. Breathe in, lift. 
and breathe out lower. Keep the length in the neck and it may feel a little stiff at the start because we've been doing a lot of the opposite with our face down or belly on the floor. Breathe in and breathe out, release. Inhale, we lift and exhale, lower it down. So five to go. You're not lifting too high. Breathe in and breathe out. Last three and two more and last one. Okay, from here, extend the legs straight on the mat. We're gonna reach the arms over our head as well. So you'll feel that slight extension in the lower back, the gap between the lower back and the floor. You wanna close it down as much as you possibly can. From here, draw the belly button in, legs are hip width apart, deep breath in, exhale, cross the right arm to the outside of a bent left knee, and then inhale, the right arm comes over. Breathe out, left arm to the outside of a bent right knee, and then breathe in, comes over. Breathe out, you're crossing over. Slight twist in the waist, engaging the tummy muscles. Again, a bit of coordination here. Breathe out as you cross and inhale as you find length. Breathe out as you cross. Keep the chest open, core engaged. Breathe out, cross over and inhale, open. Breathe out, cross over and inhale, open. Last time, breathe out and inhale and then to the outside of the right leg and inhale. From here, we rest the arms down by your side Knees up towards the ceiling, tuck the chin, breathe in, press the lower back down, breathe out, push with the feet and lift those hips up. Extension again of the spine, lift up onto the toes, feel the stretch in the hips, feel the length in the neck, hold it for two breath cycles. Exhale out, squeeze the breath out. One more deep breath in and breathe out, let it go. Inhale, lift the hips a little bit higher, and then exhale, release the spine down, vertebrae by vertebrae. Slowly, controlled, relax the hips. Flip the palms, knees to the left, turn your head to the right, and then come back through the middle, knees to the right, turn your head to the left. And then finally back through the center. Extend the legs or keep the knees bent, whatever feels more comfortable for you. But find a position of rest for the arms, a position of rest for the legs. Close the eyes over or soften the gaze. Let the body feel heavy. Allow the breath to move whatever way it will. No tension, no restriction, allowing that breath in to flow deep down low into the pelvis, the torso expanding, and that release as you breathe out. Enjoy that feeling of exhaling, the back of the body sinking into the floor, and the front of the body lifting with positive energy on each inhale. Let go on every level.
and now wriggling from your fingers, from your toes. Gently allowing that head to turn from right to left, massaging the back of the head on the mat. And now slowly, carefully bend your left knee into your chest. And with your right hand, pull your left knee over towards your right shoulder. Take a deep breath in here. And then release, extend that left leg on the mat and bend your right knee in with your left hand. Hug the right knee over towards your left shoulder. Take a deep breath in here and then release the grip of that right knee, but keep the right, right knee in and then bend your left knee in as well. Gently rocking from side to side with the arms down by your side, massaging the base of the spine. And then finally slipping the hands to the backs of the legs Deep breath in, hug the knees in, exhale, rock up into a seated position. Well done everyone, thank you so much for joining me, I'll see you next time.